This is Lexa 128GB SD card. I got it for about $17 from AliExpress. And this is Sony 1TB SD card. I got it for about $4 from AliExpress. And the question is, this one should be fake, right? Or this one should be original? Now, today we're going to go find out how do you know the fake and the original SD card? And um, what do you do if you get the fake one? And how do you avoid getting the fake one? So come with me. Let's go check it out. Okay, so first of all, I've bought fake SD cards from eBay, AliExpress. You can buy fake SD card from anywhere. So how exactly do you know which one is fake? In some cases, you won't until you lay hands on it. Uh, after suffering you know, my Samsung Galaxy Note 2 or 2012, 2013, I ran into an application called H2 Test W. Uh, it was developed by a German developer. He was gracious enough to add option for English language. So with this application, I'll be able to test exactly what space is genuine on an SD card and uh, the read and the write speed and also to know whether it can verify every file written on it. I'll put the link to that in the description. It's a free software you can download it and have in your system for Windows. I think it's also available for Mac, but I don't know. I use it on Windows. So let's get started with the Lexa on the left. There is 150 Mbps here, which could be like the highest read speed or write speed. We're about to find out uh, when we're going to open it. I have uh, the card reader here we, that is USB 3.0. Uh, so the port is USB 3.1. So we might not get the fastest of speed, but you know, USB 3.0 should be very close uh, to what we should get. Now let's get in here, put it in. This is the application, the H2W test, uh, the H2 test W, and uh, we're going to switch to English. And, and now we can read it. Select target if you just switch to English and then go to the card, the storage. You can use a drive, a USB card, whatever it is. Just hover around to see the one that has uh, any, you know, storage space and then click on that one and say, OK. Now you will click on verify, write plus verify, and it will give you a warning because there are a few sector partition that is used to keep the volume information. So there's no way it can actually, you know, test every part of that storage. So it will start the first, you can see the write speed here is very good, 112. We are using a USB 3.0 on a USB 3.1 port. So that's why we might be losing some speed here, but this is still very, very good. So right now we're going to uh, the end of it and it still maintain that speed after, you know, about 18 minutes, uh, which the, you know, the, the accurate, <laughs> accurate estimation. Now we're going to verify and we have 144. Wow, <laughs> that's good. And this shows that the write speed is okay. And then the verification, good. Test finish without errors. That's what you're going to look out for when you're using H to test test finish without errors so you can see now it wrote the file till it got full and then we can go all over and over and delete all those files from there so yes this uh, <laughs> lexa is genuine original and tested by h2 test w of course, if you're enjoying this video, this would be a good time for you to click on that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell icon to get videos like this whenever we do it. So let's get started with the <laughs> Sony 1TB. This is looking fake. I mean, it's, it's no way you're going to buy a 1TB storage for, for $4 or less. So you see now, this is the one up now, the one that has the storage space, unlike the other one that was below. So we're going to still put it and then begin to write. I allowed it to write. You still get the same warning, but I allowed this one to write up to 200 gig, you know, just to be sure. I know it was fake, but I just wanted to see as long as it could write. The write speed is 6.6 .6 Mbps. I took almost forever. That is, you have about 42 hours, like almost two days uh, for you to finish this test. So if you're writing a poor storage like that, you're going to wait a lot. At the point I got tired of, you know, waiting when I checked out to see that, you know, the information I have here, I've written almost 200 gig uh, of files. I just like, okay, let me just start verifying to see how much of those files written are actually correct. 
So I had to abort it. You can always abort it and you can start verifying the ones you've already written. So I started verifying and then not so long, like four minutes into the verification, the verification speed is about 17 MB, which is fair enough. About 3.7 gig is good and the rest is a waste. So this is the reason why you get some SD card. You think there's virus or something is corrupt and all this thing is the card is fake. This one is fake, the fake of fake. How can you do a four gig card and turn it to one terabyte of course there is a place they can rewrite it the volume information on the memory card so you can see it that you are sending file to it but yeah it's showing you that you have about 200 gig here but you can see from the verification that all of those things is just three gig that could just stay of course i did open my uh dispute on aliexpress more about that later in the video but yes this sunny whatever they call it is a proper fake so that's it. This is the genuine one. The Lexa is genuine one. And if you can see here, the read and write, it's almost getting the numbers that are quoted here. And this one is absolutely the poorest of fake. I know it's fake. I don't just know it's written one terabyte and it's not up to three gig that is genuine. And of course, I did open my dispute in AliExpress. And once I use that screenshot from H2 TestW, AliExpress doesn't even waste time to give me my refund. So let me know if you have any dispute that AliExpress you want to settle or should I make a full video on how to settle or win your dispute in AliExpress. So uh, let me hear from you in the comment section. Do not forget to like, share this video. You might help someone else out. And until I see you in the next one, it is peace to our world.